time to call your lawyer. As we do every Wednesday, we place a call to my friend and attorney for the injured, Bruce L. Shiner, to ask him one of your questions. So, if you've previously sent us a question, we might be covering yours today and hopefully giving you some relief. As oftentimes the questions are out of desperation, sometimes just out of curiosity. If you do have a question, in a moment I'll tell you how to contact us and get that question in so we can pass it on to attorney for the injured, Bruce L. Shiner. By the way, I need to tell you in advance, these segments should not be taken as specific legal advice. If you've been injured, you're strongly encouraged to talk with an attorney before signing anything or making any statements. Many attorneys offer a free consultation, which Bruce L. Shiner does, so take advantage of that. Let's see what Bruce thinks of today's legal brain teaser. Please make welcome attorney for the injured, Bruce L. Shiner. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Todd. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How about you? Doing very well, thanks. Good, good. We have a question here. Um... Of an evening, seems like a pleasant enough one, that's gone awry. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to provide some advice that'll put this couple back on the right track. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. It says, my wife and I were having dinner out when she had to use the ladies' room, which was located in the rear of the restaurant. On her way to the restroom, she walked past the setup station where they have the ice machine. While walking past, she slipped on what we now know was a wet floor. She suffered a severe injury to her lower back and neck. Currently, she is confined to bed because of pain when she stands up. Plus, she is in a neck brace supplied by the emergency room doctor. The restaurant's insurance carrier has denied coverage, but I don't understand why. Because the manager came over and said the ice machine had been leaking and they were planning on having it fixed. He also said that they would take care of everything. What happens next surprised us. The owner of the restaurant has filed for bankruptcy. Where do we turn? The only thing I can say with confidence is I know where to turn in this instant, but the rest of it, I, I don't have much of a, of a grip on. What do you think about this, Bruce? Well, I think Todd knows where to turn because yeah. he knows to call a professional that's, that's right. familiar with personal injury law. Absolutely. And, and I noticed something very interesting that the owner said, don't worry, we'll take care of it. Yes, uh-huh. Famous, famous last words. Any legal uh, weight to when somebody says that, or is it is it basically useless? It's basically useless. Okay. All right. Um, but there are a couple of very interesting facts that are good for the person in this case. Okay. Um, slip and fall cases happen to be very difficult, especially when they're caused by a transient substance on the floor. Mm-hmm. Be, because the injured person has the burden of proving what was on the floor was there long enough so that the owner or proprietor would have known about it and could have corrected the situation. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, in this situation, the owner admitted that they knew that the ice machine was leaking. Uh -huh, and they needed to fix it. And needed to be fixed. So, mm -hmm. And I'm sure that besides the owner's admission, which is... Um, admissible in court that there were other people that would corroborate that the ice machine was leaking mm -hmm. and, and so the restaurant would be responsible for that person's fall and injuries. That seemed easy to understand that much of it. The next thing is is a very interesting part of the law and okay. normally let's say that you know someone loaned you fifty thousand dollars signed a note and didn't pay you back, and uh -huh. you went to say, hey, John, you know, here's a note. I don't have the $50,000. What are you going to pay me? Uh -huh. um, they didn't pay, so you took them to court, and you got a judgment against them. All they have to do is file for bankruptcy, and that your note gets wiped out. Right. There's an exclusion for um, in bankruptcy that if someone has insurance, that the insurance still is responsible. So this person would be able to recover up to the restaurant's limits of insurance. Got you. Okay. So does it seem to you, and we were in our amateur way speculating um, this, does it seem to you as if maybe the owner uh, filed for bankruptcy in fear of what a judgment might be? Well, that's, that's certainly a possibility, either... 
you know, he was just running a bad restaurant mm -hmm. and, and couldn't keep his restaurant going, so he had to file for bankruptcy. Or he thought he would be smart and, and beat this person out of right. a recovery by filing for bankruptcy, not having realized that his insurance company was responsible anyways. Well, because this poor woman is confined to bed and still in a great deal of pain, uh, obviously, that alone to me signals the need to see a professional. So the answer, where do we turn? Turn to a professional, get a consultation, get an initial consultation and find out about your rights right now. Todd, you always have good advice. <laughs> I pal around with the best people. It's the people I associate myself with, Bruce, quite frankly. And that's my jumping off point to be able to say thank you again for weighing in this morning and thank you for helping us figure this out. Well, thank you for letting me give good advice to your listeners and I look forward to speaking with you next Wednesday. As do we, sir. Thank you very much once again. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured, who would be more than happy to consult with you if you've got a legal issue you as well. Here's what you do. Give him a call in his Port Charlotte office at 941-743-7777. 941-743-7777. Don't let anyone take away your rights. Find out how to protect yourself and your interests by calling today at 743-7777. And tell them that Todd Matthews sent you from Kicks Country 92.9. If you'd like to submit a question for consideration on a future program, simply go to our website and look for BLS Bruce L. Shiner at kickscountry929.com.